Hello and welcome back to Engadget Stage here at CES 2019. I'm Sherlyn Lowe, Reviews Editor, and joining me is Josh Newman from Intel. We announced some of our uh, new desktop 9th gen uh, processors, and we have some uh, our first mobile 9th gen processors coming soon uh, that we'll be talking about later. We also announced uh, a couple really big things about the next generation of the most advanced laptops. Okay. Um, and so first we started with, we talked about our first volume 10 nanometer yes. processor called Ice Lake. Yeah, Ice Lake. Right, that's coming in laptops later in uh, the second half of 2019. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is Ice Lake here. So this is a, a 10 nanometer processor. Um, it has our new Sunny Cove microarchitecture CPU. Mm -hmm. which has got amazing performance to fit inside you know, really well-built laptops. Um, it has new instructions to accelerate artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. so the new use cases that are coming, um, that all the developers are developing to enrich your lives with artificial intelligence are inside this processor. It has our Gen 11 graphics, so it's better graphics for gaming. It has Wi-Fi 6, mm -hmm. which you might know as the 802.11ax standard, mm -hmm. so the next generation of Wi-Fi standard built into nice. it. That has the Thunderbolt 3 integrated, so we will see that in more and more laptop designs that right. feature Ice Lake. When can we expect these laptops uh, to start shipping with Ice Lake? So, Holiday 19, our uh, new Lakefield, okay. uh, which is a hybrid CPU architecture yeah. that uses something, uh, our new Foveros 3D chip stacking technology. Mm -hmm. With the hybrid CPU, it actually features, we put on the Lakefield chip, we put a Sunny Cove core, which is the same core that's in the, the Ice Lake. Right. Right, for that you know, high performance computing you mm -hmm. need. And then we married that up with four Atom architecture based cores. Right. On a 10 nanometer process, all on the same processor. But then with the Foveros 3D chip stacking technology, there's actually multi levels of die in the one package. That's crazy. So we have, in that same package, we have our, the hybrid CPU architecture. Yes. We have you know, other functionality in there, but we also have the memory built into the same package stack. On top of on it. On top of it. We can take now a PC board yes. and shrink it down to something this small. Yeah. And so you've managed to take components that would normally be on here and stacked it on top. That's of it. right. So that stacking allows us to really get compact. And this will be for you know, low power applications, things like the future of all kinds of foldable uh, yeah. types of uh, cool new gadgets, yeah. or even small laptops, um, things like dual screens, but even just really small, you know, traditional laptops, yeah. where the premium is on space and form factor. What we did for the last year is we spent a lot of time researching laptop users, yeah. um, and we saw a couple really, really significant trends. Number one, people still go to their laptop when they want to get their most meaningful work done. But their people are also very distracted by everything they're trying to accomplish in a day. They're trying to do work, they're trying to play, they're yep. trying to follow passion projects, they're planning family vacations. All my they're, side hustles. Right, all they're all, the side hustle, the gig <laughs> economy, all of those factors play into it. Yeah. You know, on top of that, we see a trend of um, the rise of freelance work and independent contractor mm -hmm. work. And so even the, the traditional role of the consumer purchaser versus the enterprise laptop user, those things are fusing together yep. with the next generation of laptop owners. Well, so the importance of, and specifically 10 nanometer, is the process technology that allows us to put more and more capability onto right. the same chip in the same power envelope. Mm -hmm. You want to pack more and more performance into that into that envelope. Right. And so with Ice Lake, we're packing more performance, the 10 nanometer process technology, and the new micro the new architecture together. Yeah. Allow us to bring more performance. Uh, for the laptop user, it allows us to put more graphics capability, right. allows us to put some of those new AI capabilities, allow, as I said, also be able to feature Wi-Fi 6, Thunderbolt 3, put all those things yeah. that before would have been next to the processor on the motherboard. Right, but you now I can, I can condense the size of the motherboard using Ice Lake as well. And so that's going to lead to incredible new designs. Um, really, really small, thin, easy to carry designs. Do you want, do you want to see a couple examples? This is the, the Yoga Book 2. It does and this. It does do the tap. You have to knock a little harder, I think. There you go. <laughs> like magic. So, um, so this is a uh, new product. Um, this is the kind of product that Ice Lake would be you know, amazing for in the future. As it is, it's a, it's a full PC laptop experience. And it has the added benefit of this e-ink screen instead of the keyboard. That is your keyboard, it's a writing surface, it's an e-reader, so it's a really innovative way of designing a laptop that's more adaptive 
uh, than a traditional two-in-one or, or laptop today. But this doesn't actually, I mean, this is a device that's already existing, it's not using Ice Lake, but you are saying that because this of is, the size, we're able to get something so thin and light. I mean, I agree, it's super yeah. compact. Yeah, this super is exactly nice the kind of innovation that we will have a lot more of, yeah. because Ice Lake will enable enable that kind of, that kind of uh, innovation with the OEM. And still right. manage to do really powerful things, like maybe some graphics before, maybe some gaming even on the go, if you want it to. The brand new HP Spectrefolio, um, this laptop uh, actually uses the Intel low power display technology panel. Yeah. Um, and what that does is we worked with panel vendors to bring the panel power down by almost half. This laptop can get uh, as much as 19 hours of video playback time um, while we haven't had to compromise performance at all. The low power display technology and that overall system enabling, that system right. design work we do with the OEMs, yeah. we're able to bring more value. But because of the way the chip and the panel communicate, you're able to reduce the energy step. Yeah. It's this, it's this part over here, which okay. has the Foveros 3D stacking technology. Yeah. That's the Lakefield processor. With the hybrid CPU architecture, the whole approach was to have a high performance processor for when you needed the performance, right. but to then have the low power out of course yeah. to run when you really need extended at run time okay. you know, and, and to be very smart about deciding which tasks go to which which of the processors. With Lakeville we expect you know even longer run times. Uh, because it's much more, it's, you know, it's the most power optimized uh, type of architecture approach we've done. The stacking is you stack not just the processor architecture, but you have a lot of other uh, components. Uh, components in the right. system, whether it's the graphics or the memory controllers, then you actually have the memory itself, the system memory, mm -hmm. which usually sits next to the processor, is inside that package stacked on top of the... And you like said it. also that you're able to stack um, you know, things of different sort of nanometers on top of each other, right? The key benefit will be being able to shrink the overall board size. Mm -hmm. And so being able to fit something with a, a PC performance capability that people expect in their okay. PCs, but fit them into smaller and smaller devices. So if you think about the future of something like a uh, really small dual screen device or a foldable, the first products you should expect to see in the market in the second half of 2019. That's soon, okay. wow. Yeah, and then you're right, it's a multi-year journey. And then we bring the power of artificial intelligence. You can now be a lot, you can have intelligence about how you optimize or prioritize one task right. over another one. We actually have a video prepared for everyone at okay. home and here in the audience about Project Athena, which is your program that you talked about just right. now that's meant to encourage these fresh new ideas. So let's roll the video, right. everybody can take a look.